I'm going to build some arches today, but before I start building any arches, I thought I would go over some different points of reference on an archway. Uh, the first one is your height. That's your height off the floor. That is typically something that all the archers in one room will have in common. They will all be the same height off the floor. Uh, the second thing is the rise. That's a distance from the height down to where the actual arch, the curved part, becomes vertical, where it becomes straight again. So that is called the rise. Um, where the rise hits, this outside edge here is called the spring line. That's where the, the curved part becomes straight. That's your spring line. The run is the width of your arch. So you have the four parts, the width, the run, the rise, the actual height of the curved part, the height off the floor, and the spring line, which is where the arch actually turns into a uh, straight corner, straight edge. All right, I'm going to build three arches on this wall. And I'm going to start out in this little area here that I've sketched out that's 36 inches wide. I have the height of the header on this wall marked. And what I'm going to build here is like a half circle arch. It's got a true radius arch. So in other words, this dimension is 36, so my radius is going to be 18 inches. This is the actual height of the header. So I want to come down two inches from there. So I'm going to measure down two inches and put a mark. Then I'm also going to mark the center of my opening, which, like I said, is 18 inches. Then I'm going to level up. Then I'm going to just draw a center line right down from the height all the way down to the lower part. And then my two inch mark is right there. Now, since this is going to be an 18 inch radius, I'm going to measure down 18 inches from this point. What I've done, I have just have a piece of wire that I've bent at 18 inch point. I'm going to use this to swing my arch. And there you have a, a true radius arch. It's actually a half circle arch. I'm just going to level this height across so we can look at where the um, spring line is on this arch. So there's our spring line. That is. Uh, 18 inches down from the top of the arch. I just wanted to point out a couple of reasons like this is not a real common arch. And that's because it's hard to make this arch look the same as another one in that room if the width of the opening is different. Also, a half circle arch kind of closes off some of the width that you have to walk through because it takes a lot of the area out of this, this opening here and really um, narrows it up. So this might be a, a really good arch for a much wider opening, but typically for these smaller openings if it's going to be a doorway. It's not that commonly used, although it is a very simple arch to lay out. All it is is a radius. If you compare this archway to the little uh, sample I made earlier, you can see what I mean by the different heights of the spring line. We kept the actual height off the floor the same, but because of the different size radius, this was a, a smaller archway. I think it was just a 30 inch opening. Um, our spring lines are different. So that's why they do look quite a bit different uh, from one arch to another. So if you're going to go with this type of a, a true radius arch, it typically would be if all the openings are the same and if they were a little bit wider as well. 